Done it. Easy. Nice, nice. nice Good victory. Good game. What a crew indeed. Ah, 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 Great. Supply runners unite. tell you about the main gameplay aspects of the butterfly side. We play for the lone survivor and the only witness of a disastrous incident. The protagonist's destiny depends on his memories. This is why he dared to take a desperate measure. He takes an experimental drug Ramex, which immerses him in the depths of his mind and precisely restores all the events acquired to him. In his memories, the protagonist will discover the ones responsible for the disaster Collecting clues bit by bit. The game begins with a small cutscene in which Dr. Romanov, the chief scientist of the memority, is talking about what happened. The game has a non-linear dialogue system, and we always have an opportunity to choose which phrase the protagonist will say. After the cutscene, we can choose the level of difficulty. This option dramatically affects the gameplay. On the easy level of difficulty, we'll be able to use in-game computers without a password, and we will have an infinite concentration. However, in this mode, achievements are not recorded. And on the most difficult level, we have only one life. So after death, the game will start from the beginning. The butterfly sign is built on Unreal Engine 4. It makes it possible to create a large and realistic landscape, the extent of which can be observed at the beginning of the game, moving through the mountains to the Memority Hospital. The game takes places in Eastern Europe, on the border of Romania and Ukraine. The Memority was built right there. Beside the hospital, the player can research the surrounding areas and nearby buildings. Not all places in the game world need to be attended, but they can reward the player with additional information that will help with further clues and investigations. We have done great emphasis on graphics, and we have tried to make the game world alive as much as possible. 
Grass and flowers are swaying in the wind, wild animals are running out of bushes, birds are flying in the sky, the leaves are falling from the trees, each branch has its own sound. Throughout the game, the main character will be in hospital bed, and the game will be consisted of the memories being restored using the Ramax. Thus, the game world is divided into two parts. The real world, where the hero is confined to a hospital bed, and the world of his memories, which he spends most of the time. The butterfly sign provides the player with the vast, stunning locations as well as small and closed hallways. To start the elevator and go up to the memority, we need to find and restart the generators in the basement. developing the game, we have paid much attention to the sound components. Each lamp in this hallway and every drop dripping from the ceiling has its own sound. Now we are going downstairs to the room of the former morgue. It conveys perfectly the work that we did on Games Ambience. has its own unique sound that fits its style and mood. The game has many puzzles, and now we approach to the one of them. After supplying power to the elevator, we need to hack its panel. This is how the electronic hacking looks like. We need to build a chain of diodes from point A to point B. The amount of time depends on the level of difficulty. Using the electronic hacking, we can open in-game computers without a password and can activate the story items like this elevator. Once we got into the memority, the main story begins. Some of the memories of the protagonist are blocked, and to go further, we need to investigate everything that have happened on the current location. The counter shows you how many clues you need to solve to unlock this memory area. The main component of the game's mechanics are investigations. The game world is built in such a way that every object and every detail is important, and the player has to pay attention to them during the investigations. When a player finds a corpse, there will be a large number of clues and hints nearby. 
We will need to examine carefully all the crime scenes and then put forward our version of the murder with the help of the context menu. The further the player progress, the more difficult it becomes to investigate, and the more close the protagonist is to the truth. To simplify the search of such evidence, the main character can, for a short period of time, focus on his memories to recollect important details. During the concentration, all important clues that are near the main character will be highlighted in bright red. This simplifies the investigation if it appears too complicated, but does not make the game easy in general because it has a cooldown, requires concentration and a lot of time for its recovery. Now let's talk about interactivity in the game. Most of the objects allow you to interact with them. It could be doors, lockers, various records or dictaphones, and other story items. We should also mention in-game computers. They represent a great importance because they store the important information on them. In order to authenticate, a password is required. It can be obtained in a variety of ways. Also, you can use an electronic hack to bypass the password. On the easy level of difficulty, password is not required. That simplifies the game greatly. Using the computer, we can read owner's email, see his name, go online, watch the latest opened and deleted files, and use security systems connected to the hospital. Please note, email requires an internet connection, and sometimes you will have to find a way to connect the desired computer to the web. Apart from the crime scenes, evidence pointing to the events can be hidden in a variety of places. The game comes out in November on Windows, Linux, and Mac. We hope you will enjoy it. Thank you for the attention.
Thank you. 